Hey everybody, uh, gonna do another episode of uh, Airplanes from the Closet here, episode three. Um, got a couple of Dynam planes I'm gonna fly here. I'm sure you've seen these fly in a couple of my other videos. I know that I've been flying this one quite a bit. Uh, this is a Dynam SR trainer. Uh, this is a 55 inch wingspan plane. Uh, came with a, uh, I believe it was an 1800, it was either an 1800 or 2200 milliamp pack. I'll have to check on that. Um, but this is a really, really nice plane for a low wing trainer. Um, the uh, the only weak spot on it is the landing gear kind of wants to roll under on the grass. Um, and the, the landing gear did come out on it and I glued it back in and uh, kind of made a mess of it. Haven't cleaned it up yet, but it flies terrifically. Uh, the other plane here is um, Dynam Focus. This is actually my second one of these. Um, the first one is still flyable, but uh, it's pretty banged up and stuff. So I got a new kit not too long ago. This is EPS foam. That's one of the things that I don't like about it. The other thing that I don't like about it is where you have to put the battery. You actually have to take the wing off to insert the battery. But other than that, this is easily one of my favorite planes. Very aerobatic plane. Um, has very big ailerons on it. So you want to set the throws down on your radio if you have a radio that you can um, set dual rates on, set it way down. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fly these now, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, just shoot me a message. And motor cut out. Something wrong with that motor. See, look at that. It folds right up under. Something wrong with it. Okay, so... <clears throat> We're not going to be flying this today. Um, that uh, the first takeoff, something something's going on with the motor. I'm not sure what cut out on me. I was able to get it down the grass, and uh, apparently it tweaked the landing gear a little bit here. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to have to take the cowling off and take a look at that. So we'll do this one another time. And uh, right now we'll get the SR trainer up and get that uh, get a couple flights on that.
that for a photo op. landing was a little bit better. Not quite as centered, but uh, better landing, I think. Okay, since uh, the other plane, uh, we couldn't fly the Focus, I'll give the F6F a flight here. I haven't flown this, I, I've flown this off of grass, but I haven't flown it off the pavement yet, so this will be a first time. Um, remember, I broke the tail wheel on this, so uh, I have no tail wheel steering, so but it shouldn't be a problem. So let's see how it does. Off there, Just trying to ease into it a little bit, adjusting the trims a little bit. Uh, trims, this plane seems to be fairly sensitive on trims. Trims out a little bit differently each day depending on the conditions. I think I got her pretty good now. One thing that this plane does really well is rolls. I'm going to bring it around here and I'll do a roll. Really nice rolls. Take it upstairs a little bit, and I'm going to try some inverted flight with it. A little bit of altitude. Got to roll her right up on her back. Wow! It flies almost as well inverted as it does uh, right side up. Very nice plane. Roll back over. get enough of the rolls on this plane. It rolls very nicely. Both directions. Yeah, let's 
see how she comes in. Way high. Let me see if I can slough off some altitude and speed here. likes to float a lot, a lot more than uh, some other planes of similar designs. You wouldn't think it, but it really does. And I got a problem with one landing gear there. I noticed that before I uh, took off and I thought I'd be okay with it, but uh, looks like it's folding up on me, so not a big deal because I got a set of retracts that I'm going to put on it here shortly anyways. Probably do that this weekend, maybe. And uh, so the next time I fly it, we'll uh, have retracts on it. So I'm not sure what's going on there. It doesn't look like it's loosened up at all. Uh, oh, yeah, I see where it is. Yes, it is loosened up. Um, apparently, uh, when I glued it, epoxied it in there, the epoxy came loose. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the uh, retracts in it. Now, they're not going to be scale, unfortunately. Um, the real plane... They kind of tucked up in right in here, so, uh, but these retracts, I'm going to try to cut this area out so that they kind of tuck up in there, but it won't be quite scale, but um, it'll be better than what we've got. I'll have to change over radios over to my 72 megahertz as well, so until next time, catch you later.